there, my name's Mary, and I heard that you're having a couple of questions about your new 4D mascara. First and foremost, you probably saw pictures of this, saw the dynamite results, was like, I want lashes like that, scooped it on up, opened it up, and you may not know exactly know how to get that dramatic results. Well, that's what this video is. If you are a member of the SSLC, the Short Stubby Lash Club, know that you're not alone. I have short stubby lashes. I mean, look at those little things. They're like stick straight, they're boring. I love the look of mascara. I used to put on glue on lashes. I used to get eyelash extensions. And then I ended up trying our Epic Mascara line and it just blew me away. So here are my tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your 4D mascara. First and foremost, when you get it, rather than opening it up and like pumping it or some people will like scrape it off open it up slowly and gently spin it that will make sure that enough product is properly dispensed on the mascara wand this is just, just a tip just a tip that you can do with any mascara wand to begin with the other thing though that's really important about this wand is there's different bristles on different sides of it there's low and high density bristles this helps curl your lashes separate them and also make sure that the y-shaped fibers that are in this the secret little magic potion that makes these even more dramatic make sure that they get stuck to your lashes properly so once again when you get it I want you to gently just spin it and then if you can practice this motion right here this twist this is going to be key as is a little wiggle a little zigzag kind of like you're brushing your teeth but don't brush your teeth with your wand all right let's go to town so you're going to get um, a mirror and hold it down below you or if you're looking straight on in a bathroom I recommend kind of like doing this so that when when you're applying your mascara it doesn't get all over your eyelid lid because if you're part of the short stubby lash club you're about to get longer lashes right and you don't want your mascara to get on your lid especially if you have more of a hooded eyelid like myself so once again either tipping your neck back or having a mirror below you and then you get right up to the base of your lashes and you wiggle you zigzag and you twist and you might be like, why am I wiggling? So the reason that you're wiggling at the base of your lashes is you're making sure that that product is fully coating the base of your lashes. That's going to almost give a look of wearing a little bit of eyeliner. It's going to really help with that dramatic look. So wiggle, wiggle, twist, wiggle, wiggle, twist. And the twisting combs through those lashes, keeps them nice and separated, interlocks those little fibers. And once you feel like you have a pretty good base of those lashes, I want you just to continue to put whatever is left on that brush on your lashes. And what's cool about this is you saw, like I'm not re-dunking, I'm just kind of blinking it on or twisting and each person's lashes are a little different. You know, some people have cowlicks in their lashes. Some people's lashes are a bit thicker in places and a bit thinner in others. So I think it takes about three or four times to find your happy medium with this mascara. So if at first you don't succeed, honestly, try it three or four times. Try it with the blinking. Try it with the twisting. But what is really cool is like it curled my lashes for me. And it's nice and thick. You see that? So if you want it to be a bit more dramatic, okay? So this is kind of like extra drama for every day, but if you want to oomph it up a little bit more, go in with a second coat and do it on the outer half of your lashes. So not at the base, not where the eyelashes touch your eyelid, you know, your eyeball, but really focus on those tips. And what's happening is those fibers are going to stick to the tips and it's going to really thicken it up and give that look of false eyelashes. This is the extra drama. Okay, so they're already curled, they're looking beautiful, and then my extra little tip is to do even more right here on that outer portion of your eye. Kind of gives this little butterfly effect. It's very feminine, very romantic, opens it up right there. But I haven't put on like crazy amounts of coats. I'm just really making the brush do what it's supposed to do. And then I'm gonna go right there on the lower lid, back and forth, little zigzag right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. So me, the member of the Short Stubby Lash Club, thanks to this mascara, I feel so much more dramatic. Look at that. So hopefully these tips help you. If you have any questions, please reach out to the person who sold you this mascara, but hopefully this helps, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.